Siori hugs the cookie. Jeez. I just often do that as well. Hug the cookie. Hug cookies. Why would you waste your time hugging it when you could just eat it? I hug it in my mouth. In my face. It's more of a face hug. It's a cookie. You want you, you, Facially hug it? Yeah, you want to appreciate a good cookie. <laughs> just Sorry, I need to facially hug my hand. <laughs> Here, you want a hug? Facial hug! Facial hug. <laughs> Sari rapidly, oh. thank you. Sari gets out of her seat and goes behind Natsuki, then wraps her arms around her. Oh, jeez. She's giving her a mouth hug. <laughs> wow! Yeah? Okay, <laughs> great. This is, that's a very different game here, Stephanie. Hello, internet. Welcome to game. <laughs> Hey guys, and welcome to GT Live. And welcome to you, Skeep, onto GT Live. Special guest, Skeep. As you can see, we have a special guest here today on the live stream. His name is Skeep. Hello, Skeep. He's a dude. He's a totally dude it. And today we are continuing our adventure through Doki Doki Literature Club, A Brand New Day. A brand new day. Hi, Skip. Appreciated that. Doki Doki Literature Club, but we can save everyone. Our our uh, protagonist, Maddie Patty, has an unusual obsession with cupcakes. Cupcakes. And he's having weird dreams. And everyone is, is talking about his man meat, which is, you know, cool. Cool, bro. Cool, so bro. So anyway, yeah, that that definitely fills everybody in on exactly what I mean, what that's they pretty much it. That's it. That's what you need to know. Yes. <laughs> Hi, Skip. <laughs> I like that his claw was just like. I know. He's like. Basically, the rest of day we looked ahead. The rest of day two is is largely the same. The the women folk get in an argument about breast size as as you do. Do they? At, or do you? As as one assumes, women do. As do do women? Do you would they, know, you do would know do? better than I. Have you ever gotten into a, a debate with a fellow woman's about stuffing or non-stuffing of the bra? I can't say that I ever have. I I've never gotten into an argument. I've also never really been in the in the competitive race there though. So maybe maybe I just don't qualify for the arguments about boobs. As a, you know, it's okay. I'm all right with that. As a I'm theater, happy with myself. As a theater man who has uh, cross-dressed on several occasions, I probably have done more bra stuffing than Stephanie has. I did try a water balloon at one point because everyone's like, oh, you should try water balloon or balloon filled Those with pudding. Those will fall right They fall out. out. Yeah, there's, there's without no any support, way. it's just like, Woo, <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> Boop -a -doo -doo, and it's just gone. So. Well, what does it do? Baby there okay, it is. Good. And then you have pudding on the floor and it's just awful. Pudding? You were filling your water balloons with pudding? You know, I I want to stay true to form. Like, I, I want my craft to be as natural as possible. You think? Give the, give the realistic jiggle physics. Uh, I don't know. Matthew, do you think ladies' breasts are made of pudding? I mean, it's more so than water. It's like Really? More, I mean... <laughs> are you sure? <gasps> This just did everyone. I'm, I'm so glad we're playing Doki Doki Literature Club, so all of this is coming to the surface. Matthew believes that, I don't believe that, anything. that I know. boobs are made of pudding. I know what <laughs> boobs are made out of. I know they're not Apparently made of pudding. We're talking don't. about you texture. Pudding. We're talking about texture, Stephanie. You think they're the texture of no, pudding? No, I, we're talking about... <laughs> Sayori! About what happened earlier, so you didn't, like I said, you didn't miss much. You missed, you missed the debate between Natsuki and Yuri about the proper viscosity of breast stuffing also, substitutes. thank you, Ben W., for starting the hashtag putting boobs in the chat. <laughs> I really hope we can keep this one up, you guys. No! Putting boobs! I think it's because of you. I think they're trying to fight for dominance over you. <laughs> Dominate me, Yuri! Oh boy. Angel Man. X says pre-stream conversations are always my favorite part. Right. Great. <sighs> right. They're they're my favorite parts of the streams too. It's great. Here you go. At least you won't have to worry about me when I'm gone. The other girls will take care of you. Ew. <laughs> it looks like Sayori still hasn't caught on onto the kind of situation I'm in. Or maybe I'm a dumbass and she knows more than I'm thinking. Well. Where did that come from? I'll make sure we all have a nice and bright future, Sayori. Mm. Together. All of us. Jello. I think it's more like jello. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the end of day two. 
Here we go. I patiently wait in front of Sayori's house. It's been over 45 minutes. Should I just wait or go in? Uh, don't wait another hour. Forgot, Forgot already. already. Go, go inside. inside. Go inside. Yeah. I'm done waiting. Something is wrong. I knock on the door. There is no answer. Uh-oh. I check the door, and to my luck, it's unlocked. That is just unsafe. She's still asleep, obviously, as you can tell by the image on screen. I hear her gentle snoring. Just hearing that puts me at ease. Thank goodness. I start to walk to her bed to wake her up, but notice one of her desk drawers is slightly open. Uh-oh. I am shocked at what I find. And appalled. I don't know. Oh. Uh oh A makeshift noose. Oh, boy. That's Ooh, hey there. Good. She's been having a hard time waking up in the morning. Been complaining about other things, too. What the H-E double hockey sticks is wrong with me? Why didn't I notice this sooner? Oh, man. Oh, no way. I quickly pocket the noose from the drawer. What massive Right? What enormous... <laughs> I quickly shove the entire noose into my pocket. <laughs> Sayori wakes up. Is that a noose in your pocket, or are you just happy to see me, Manny <laughs> Patty? Oh, no. It's just your Is noose. Is that a noose in your pocket, or are you just happy to see me? It's a, it's a noose, Sayori. <laughs> it's a whole Sayori. It's just, a, it's just your noose. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> not today, death. Not today. <laughs> what a great line. I grab Sayori by the shoulders. Oh, God. oh, and give her a big hug. Oh, that's actually nice. Oh, that's nice. There you go. I, I thought you were going to shake her violently until she, like, realizes the error of her ways. I should have realized you were hurting all this time. Oh, we just jumped right into it. Oh, boy. You could have addressed this before grabbing her shoulders oh, violently. Geez. Me, your best friend. I'm, I am such a big dummy. Wow, this is, chain of, this is a self-aware Matty Patty. I'm such a big dummy. I'm sorry, Sayori. I've caused you pain all this time without knowing it. That ends now. I hold in my tears. Oh, Matty oh, Patty. Patty. No, it's not supposed to be like this. It's not supposed to be this way. I, I'm not supposed to be happy. But your hugs feel so warm. I'm so scared, Maddie Patty. Sayori lets me go. You are not alone now. I'll help you and make sure you do get good help. As opposed to bad my help. My sucky help. Yeah, as opposed to my help, which is, as shown in other mods, not quite the best. Nah, sucks. Let me help you, okay? Sayori shakes her head in agreement. We pause and stare at one another again. I'm staring at you. Oh. We're staring. Stare at me. I this is an important stare. moment. You break the... <laughs> I break the stare. <laughs> Glove time again. Yay, crap. I forgot to write a poem. Yay, crap. That's what it was. Hey, Maddie Patty. Oh, no. Not again. <laughs> not Monica again. I hope you got one of them them poems. I hope you got one of them poems for me, Maddie Patty. <laughs> Monica suddenly assumes a southern dialect. She tweaked the wrong val value in the code. Right? I'm a southern belle now. I hope you got one of them poems for me. Oh, <gasps> uh, yeah, about that. No poems, no cupcakes. Got it? <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, <laughs> One more thing, sugar. <laughs> Thanks for not leaving Sayori hanging. I realize that I still have the noose in my pocket. Will you come with me to buy a snack? No. 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 Oh. Uh, uh, okay. Not at all. Just no. okay. flat out. No. Okay. Eh? That's not like you at all. I forgot to bring much money with me to today. Why don't we take a look at your purse, Sayori? What? Uh? Why that all of a sudden? No reason, really. I just wanted to look at it. Uh... Sayori nervously retrieves her coin purse. She fumbles with the latch and gets it open. Why are we It has a very to small noose in it. <laughs> she has nooses coming out of Just all over the place. She's like a clown with those little scarves. Explain this to me, Sayori. 
It's like this big. A mini noose. <laughs> My hamster has been going through a tough time. <laughs> the mini noose. She fumbles with the latch and gets it open. Then she turns it upside down and lets its contents spill onto the desk. <gasps> Only two small coins fall out. Oh man. And a mini noose. I knew it. That's not fair. How did you even know? If you had enough money in the first place, you would have bought a snack before coming to the club room. Hey yo. But there's one more thing I know about you, Sayori. You're always hungry. Don't make me feel guilty. <laughs> Yuri suddenly giggles. Eh? I didn't notice that she was listening in. Her face is in her book, as always. Actually, so, she's more like this. I was gonna say her face is in her pudding like boobs, as <laughs> always. Jello, jello. Gel gelatinous boobs, oh. as always. Yeah, is gelatinous better? No. Is that the better descriptor here, oh, Stephanie? Oh my god. Well, flan. She, I'm telling you, flanish. Flan. Her, her, her flan like bosoms. Her eyes are in her flannish bosoms, <laughs> as usual. I did something bad, and now I have to accept the revolution. revolution. <laughs> I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but equal that's, coins in everyone's purse. That's what we're going. The to. revolution. <laughs> Viva la revolution! Oh. Yeah. Out of nowhere, something smacks Sayori in the face and tumbles onto the desk. The back of my hand. Punch her. <laughs> Punch her. <laughs> Ow! What was? Uh huh? A cookie? Sure enough, it's a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. Sayori glances around. Is this a miracle? It's because I paid my restitution. Retribution. Revolution! <laughs> Actually, that one almost worked. <laughs> <laughs> I was just gonna give it to you, but then I heard you blab about the cupcakes. It was totally worth seeing your reaction though. <laughs> oh my god. Siori hugs the cookie. Jeez, I just often do that as well. Hug the cookie. Hug cookies. Why would you waste your time hugging it when you could just eat it? I hug it in my mouth, in my face. It's more of a face hug. We're just gonna let that one sit there. Uh, great. What? I'm just saying. No, facially, go ahead. Facially hug whatever you want, Steph. <laughs> I mean, more power to you. I'm happy. You're empowered. I'm just saying. I'm efficient. Just eat it. I. It. It's a cookie. You want you, you, facially hug it? Yeah, you want to appreciate a good cookie. <laughs> Just sorry, I need to facially hug my hand. <laughs> Here, you want a hug? Facial hug. Facial hug. <laughs> Sayori <laughs> rapidly. Oh. Thank you. Sayori <laughs> rapidly tears open the wrapper and takes a big old bite. So good. So, so good. <laughs> <laughs> mm, I'm hugging it with my face right now. Siri suddenly clasps her hand over her mouth. Siri gets out of her seat and goes behind Natsuki, then wraps her arms around her. Aw, oh, jeez. She's giving her a mouth hug. <laughs> wow! Yeah? <laughs> okay. Uh, Great. This is That's a very different game here, Stephanie. It's a very different game where Sayori gives Natsuki a, <laughs> a, a, a mouth hug. <laughs> I don't know if that's a stream for YouTube. Monica chose the club over her boyfriend after all. You're so strong-willed. What are you guys saying? She was literally just here. Literally just here. Uh, boyfriend? What on earth are you talking about? Monica quizzically glances at me. I wink. Whoa. Right? Man! Maddie Patty making a move! Ayo! Don't worry about it. Ayy. Ayy. Ay. Don't worry about it. Wow. I'm the Fonz. So, like, you're totally the Fonz? Hey, Monica, don't worry about it. Just tell everyone that you and I think. Don't yeah, babe, think. you know? You, you you plus me equals us. Babe. Mm, all the other guys out of here, you, me, me, you. You plus me equals us. That's not that I care about. What up? Did it hurt when you fell from heaven? Something or other? Ah, uh, jeez. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm going to plug this in at the teacher's desk. 
And then I'll get some water. I'm going to continue narrating every single thing I do. Instead of, yeah, I was gonna say, instead of saying literally every step of this process, you could just, just go and do it. Oh my god. You're more than welcome to just do it. Uh. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk like she just told me she was about to do. Uh. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms. Hey, yo, baby. Especially because of her long legs, Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Oh, jeez. Okay, may I have the water pitcher for the next step of this pre-described process? <laughs> Thanks, I'll be right back. <laughs> ah, I might as well walk with you then. The literally five steps that I'm sure it is to the teacher's desk. Uh, did Yuri leave you again? What do you mean, again? She's just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, God, you have no memory. Uh, okay. You might want to check, but that's just me. Ugh. A few more minutes pass. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. What's holding her up? Is she squeezing her own water? Out of the clouds? <laughs> squeezing her own water. Squeezing water out of what, buddy? What would one squeeze the water out of there? Squeezing it out of her own body. Squeezing it. These aren't these aren't water balloons. Maybe maybe they are. <laughs> maybe that's what it is. All the talk about stuffing a bra, squeezing the water. Yuri. Oh jeez. Yeah. Yuri punches me right in the face with her fist. Punch him! Punch him! Punch her back! Fist the cops! Ugh! I black out. Whoa. It's like a KSI fight in here. I awaken back in the classroom on a desk seat quite sloppily. Ah, oh, jeez. What the H-E double hockey sticks just happened? Was I just one-shotted by a girl? Worse yet, were those cuts on her arm? They seemed very deep. I run my fingertips down the side yeah. of Sayori's hair, trying to straighten it out. So is this is this is the section that we've done before, right? Yes, this is the whole blazer harassment. The whole blazer All right, I think we, sexual I think harassment. I think we skip through the blazer harassment. Can we skip harassment. through it? Uh, you can't hit the skip button, but if you hit enter really quickly, it'll go by fast. At Wave DB Group says, Yuri's not a cutter, just a cat owner. That explains all the cuts on her arms. That, that would be accurate. My arm does look like Yuri's that, after yep, all that. Yep, yep. Uh, not to make light of any of that. Maddie Patty, you're not thinking about this the right way at all. It's not just about reading poems, it's about performing them. I'm telling you, car wash. Like, you say the lines of the poem like, Between my feet, the last remaining flower beckons to me. I think the high pitch of Sayori's voice is prompting Skip to like, he's like responding to it like a dog whistle. Hey, buddy. <laughs> I twist the stem. Freeing it from its clinging roots. Hi, bud. Yeah, I know. <gasps> Caressing the final joyous moment between my fingers. But to what end have I summoned this joy? For now, when I look in every direction, the once prosperous field <laughs> before me <laughs> is but a barren wasteland. <laughs> Skip has been overcome by the feeling Skip, of this poetry. Skip's a huge Blech. poetry fan. Blech. Skip, you're such a good poetry fan, buddy. Oh, I, oh, oh, oh yes. Oh, oh. He's, he's so grumpy. I know. He's, he's so mad. He's like, I'm so hungry. Oh, ah! You're going to make me look like Yuri. I make a quick phone call. Ooh. I make a quick phone call to Sayori's parents. What? Wow. Oh, oh man. man. Look at him. Oh, man. I tell them what happened in the morning and send them photos of the news. <gasps> oh, wow. wow. Oh, this is huge. Okay, okay. all right. Then I have th See, he pulled it out of his pants finally. Mm -hmm. they, this, yes, this is me. Thank you, Chris, for zooming in on me pulling the news out of my pants. Great, great. I want those, I want those gifable moments for everyone. Of course, here, here, <laughs> gifable moment. Pulling a, pulling a noose out of pants. This is a very, a very accurate, like, you know, gif moment that you'll want. Here you go. There we go. Okay, right, you got it. There you go. Right. Enjoy. Enjoy that one. They're at a loss. They informed me they'll take Sayori to the hospital tomorrow to get checked up. They oh, informed man. me 
they won't be home tonight. I asked if Sayori could stay over at my place because I'm worried about her safety. They reluctantly agreed. I told them I would protect her with my life. Wow! wow. Look at him being so respond- Maddie, pa clap and a half to Maddie Patty! For making the occasional good decision. You might be a cupcake fiend who also dabbles in flan, but good on you, sir. I gotta ask as we kind of close out the day here. Yeah. What is the appropriate age or inappropriate age when you can actually ask someone to sleep over? Uh, like almost. I, like, I, it, it totally depends on who you ask, right? And also, how many for like, co-ed sleepovers? You are? mean for co-ed sleepovers? Y yes. I never had co-ed sleepovers ever, except this one time when I dated a guy who lived really far away from me, and we would sleep on separate floors, and. I really liked his parents, and I just kind of wanted his family to adopt me. So, wow. That, but that was using him for his parents. Kind of. Just like a woman. Just like. <laughs> using him for the parents. Man. Um. So, so, you know, you really put me in a trap, Maddie Patty. A trap of my manhood. Whoa. I've been reluctant to tell you, but I've always been like this. You're just seeing it now. <laughs> I've really had bad depression my whole life. Whoa! Oh my God. Look at us! This wow, is like, opening up. This is like legitimately a good way of handling all. No. Wow, this is great. Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days I can't find a reason to get out of bed. What reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? Why go to school? Why eat? I mean, she does find enough reasons to do that. Oh! Like, no, wow! <laughs> way to break. I know. Way to break the moment, I'm Steph. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone be happy together is the best thing for me. But then, I discovered something else too. Seeing you make friends and get closer with everyone else in the club. It feels like a spear going through my heart. So that's why. That's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. <laughs> Sayori, I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. If I make friends with everyone else, then that's just bonus. Like flan. But please, never <laughs> underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have it any other way. Maddie Patty! Sayori isn't hugging me back. Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Sayori's arms remain at her sides. Oh, man. She starts sobbing next to my ear. Ooh. No! Don't do this to me! Please don't do this! Maddie Patty! I... Sayori barely manages to speak between her sobs. I know what I did was right. I hug tighter. If you have it in you to call yourself selfish, then you have it to... If you have it in you to call yourself selfish, then you have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll help you. You're no longer alone. I love you, Sayori. I'll help make these feelings go away. And if there's anything that you need me to do, then you'd better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. Blech. I I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. Gently, Sayori finally puts her arms around me in return. I know we said it a couple times in this stream, but I gotta I gotta say, give credit where credit's due. Right. Brand new day as a mod, like that's the Takes... appropriate way to handle that. Like Yay! that was really good. <laughs> That the writing of that section was great, right? Like what it what it's like to feel depression, what they're going through, the responses that you should give. Don't let them alone. Even even stuff like, hey, we're going to the festival at the end of this week. We're going to the festival at the end of this week. Yeah, you're. Uh, that's one of the things that you're supposed to do. Is kind of like have set time set, bound goals. Set yeah, time like short term time bound goals. So that way, there's always something to look forward to and kind of gets their mind off of the immediate. Yeah. So that way it also buys time to get help and this and that. No, so everything about this 
from finding the noose and getting rid of it to having the conversation to the way it's written and stuff. This is great. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of GT Live. We need to wrap this up quickly because Skip is still aggressively waiting for his dinner. Oh yeah. If you want to see a live stream that you're really going to love, well then click the box to the left. It is... It's VR Chat. It's totally different. We interact with a whole bunch of you guys and we break basically all of VR land. And don't forget to subscribe. The way is to the right.